I have a scenario here where we can use the match formula. Let's say I have this list of email addresses I've sent an email to, but then I get a new list and I want to send the same email to that list, but I want to make sure nobody on this list already got the email. This is a good example of when I can use the match formula to check if any of the names in this new email list are also in the A list and therefore already got the email. So to write the match formula, I will do equals match, and then I want to enter the search key, and I want to look for the value in column C. So to do this as an array formula, I'll do C3 colon C. The range I want to search in is column A, and I want an exact match, so I'll enter zero for find the exact match. And then I will add array formula to it by doing command shift enter or control shift enter to wrap the formula in array formula and all the values will populate down. So now I know that anywhere that there is a number that person already got the email because this this contact here is in the sent emails column. What can I do with this information? I can do a couple things. I can use a filter to get a filtered list of just the email addresses that haven't gotten the email by filtering for the NA columns only. So I can select column D, turn on the filter, and then I can scroll down and select only this NA value. And now I know this list is the people who have not gotten the email. I can copy that out and paste it into an email, for example, and then I have my list. I could also take it a step further and use a filter formula. I can do something like filter and I can filter the range column C and I can filter it by wherever there's an error in column D. So I can use the is error formula and put in column D and I would get a filtered list here where it cuts out any of ones with the numbers. If I want to take it a step further and make a comma separated list, I can use the join function. So I can join these with a comma so that I get one cell that has a comma separated list of all of the values that have not received the email. So anywhere there's an NA in column D and C. I can take this a step farther and combine all of the formulas into one. So the join function, the filter function, the is error, and the match function. And I would get something like this. We'll start with our previous formula. Instead of referencing column D, I'll instead put the match formula here. So I'll do the match formula. I'm looking for column C and I want to compare it to column A and I want a, an exact match so I'll do zero and there I will get a list of only the email addresses who have not received the email. And it looks like it also included the header here so I can change my references to start at cell 3 of column C and column A and that would take care of that. And again one formula gets a comma separated list of values from column C that are not in column A. So this is my list of email addresses I need to send the email to now. And it won't include anybody who already received it, someone who might be on both lists, for example.